General Motors is recalling more than 380,000 SUVs, some for the second time. GM decided on the recall after the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration opened an investigation last year. The recall covers the 2010 through 2016 Cadillac SRX and 2011 and 2012 Saab 94X. It's to fix a suspension problem that can cause the vehicles to sway at highway speeds. Most of the vehicles were first recalled in September of 2014. As we get closer to the July 4th holiday weekend, there are some gas supply concerns in some parts of the country. The reason? A shortage of tanker drivers. The petroleum industry, like so many other areas of the economy, has struggled with losing workers during the pandemic, and it's now trying to catch up with surging demand. AAA estimates more than 43 million people will hit the roads this weekend. The higher demand for gas is reflected in the price. The American Customer Satisfaction Index has released its annual restaurant satisfaction study and Chick-fil-A still leads the way. It continues its seven year reign at the top of the list of both fast food and limited service restaurants. However, the chain's lead dropped a point from last year. As for full service restaurants, last year's industry leader Longhorn Steakhouse fell 1% into a three way tie with Olive Garden and Texas Roadhouse. The pandemic has led many Americans to make changes from a new job to home improvement projects. Now doctors are seeing growing interest in a laser procedure. Michael George explains. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Jessica Blumberg is hoping Dr. Mitchell Chasen can make her tattoos disappear. Especially after going through a pandemic with working from home, raising two kids. That year I matured so much that when I look at the tattoos, I'm like, oh, I'm not that person anymore. Tattoos have grown in popularity. A 2019 survey found 30% of Americans had at least one tattoo, up from 21% in 2012. And Dr. Chasen says he's busy taking them off. During COVID time, the number of people coming in desiring tattoo removal has exploded. A lot of people have more disposable income. They're not spending it on trips, they're not spending it on cars, they're not buying new clothes to go out. Tattoo removal sessions used to take up to an hour, but now with new laser technology, a session can be over in just seconds. Here we go. Simple art is treated quickly, but can require three or four visits to remove. Color tattoos take longer. This one will need at least six sessions. Blumberg is using stimulus money to help pay for her procedure. So I figured let's use the stimulus check towards something that will, you know, really help me change how I feel about myself. A recent report from Kenneth Research predicts the global tattoo removal market will grow to $4.8 billion by 2023. As fast as people are getting tattoos, which is exploding, we're seeing the number of people getting them removed exploding even faster. Costs vary depending on the size, depth of the ink, and complexity of the art. Removal prices can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand. Michael George, CBS News, Martinsville, New Jersey. Relief may be on the way for some insulin users. We'll tell you Walmart's new plan when Valley News Live at 4 continues.